Children are a huge blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants children to every married in a family. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring joy and happiness to the lives of those family members. The prophets of Allah have actually prayed for uh, righteous children. We know that Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam prayed to Allah, Rabbi habli min as salihin that Ya Allah grant me a, a, a righteous child. And we know that Sayyidina Zakariya alayhi salam, he also said that he used to pray, Rabbi la tadarni fardan wa anta khayul warithin. He prayed that Ya Allah do not leave me without a, 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 an, a, an heir. So the, these are, you know, the, the children are blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they, all, they bring so much joy, so much happiness, but also at the same time, they bring responsibility to parents in particular and then to the rest of the family members as well. In, now we know the Holy Quran, uh, Allah says that children are tests for you. And they are tests because you know, they are uh, a, a responsibility given to, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you, as, if you as parents fail to fulfill that responsibility, then it's going to bring you much unhappiness. Uh, it's going to bring you khasara and loss in this world and in the next world. Uh, and if they are pious, if they are raised properly, if the upbringing is uh, in accordance with Islamic teachings, then they will bring you joy in this world, but also actually a tremendous reward in the next world. We know from a hadith that even when someone dies, if they leave good children behind, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa says, Awwalin salih yad'u lahu. One of the things that continue to benefit you is a righteous child that you might have left behind you. So uh, you know, my plea to my uh, fellow parents is that we need to invest our time in raising our children. You know, uh, have good time with them. Sp you know, just like we spend so much time uh, on their clothing, on their food, on their uh, uh, fulfilling their desires uh, that relate to this world. Similarly, we should think about their soul, nourishing their soul. Now, that doesn't mean that you just tell them off all the time and say, go and read. And we don't set a, a good example for them. If we as parents are not establishing five daily prayers, then how can we expect them to pray five times a day? If we as parents do not recite the Holy Quran, how can we expect our children to be reciting the Holy Quran? If we as our parents do not follow the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, 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 and show a good character to our children, then how can we expect them to, have, to develop good um, you know, skill set where they are not also a good citizen, but also a good servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, it, it, and it, it's, it's taking baby steps. So for instance, you know, asking when they come back from school, asking children, you know, what, what did they do today that brought joy to others? You know, did they share something with others? Did they help someone uh, on the playground? You know, all of these things will help them to understand that these are valuable, uh, uh, valuable uh, traits and characteristics that they need to develop. And when you know, you, you in, instill those good qualities in children at an early age, then inshallah we hope and pray that when they're grown up, they will, they will become good citizens, good servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bring huge joy to our families. You know, we, we uh, come across so many parents that have actually so uh, broken down relationships with their uh, children and the way to, uh, one of the ways to ensure that there is no uh, uh, broken up relationships at a, at a later stage is to actually invest time in our children and give time that, that they require at an early age. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, has given us that test of uh, responsibility that we fulfill uh, those responsibilities so that we can be successful in this world and in the next world as well.